recent games, really their last three, these Miami receivers have really stepped up. They're going to run the football, bit of an opening there for Jalen Knight. And don't be surprised if some of these younger running backs, like the freshman there, is that one is fumbled and scooped up by Ben Fry. Tangelo, number four, and he gets this football out. See the offseason and training camp didn't, you know, help his situation, but they do need him to protect the ball much better than he has. Trying to throw the second down, and he's going to go down in a heap. They believe he is a first-round talent at the defensive end position. First and 15 for Bryce. Back to throw some time in the pocket, but now he comes ahead, and he's going to be dragged down. Stopped by Jalen Phillips again. Jordan on the move. They like to use the tight ends. They have two very good ones. So fire that one and tumbling into the end zone for the touchdown is Brevin Jordan. A 24 yard strike. Ball location by De'Ara King. See the anticipation right as he kind of made that break. Ball already on its way. Uh, I think he's a pretty versatile player and finding more opportunities for him. I think we'll see. You know, pretty good production. Gets the ball again here and didn't do it here, but his last five games he's averaging seven yards per carry. With Harley stepping up, I think it's almost been contagious. You know, you're seeing it from Wiggins and, uh, you know, you're seeing it from Pope. All right, got a breakaway here, heading for the end zone and for the touchdown, Cam Harris. After some misdirection, we saw a reverse, and this one here with, it was kind of a zone read. With Eric King reading Chris Rumpf, and it's just well blocked up front. And this, in many ways, looks like the Georgia Tech game, you know, for Duke. We're just getting gapped. Well, Duke trying to convert another fourth down. And a little pitch here, and they're going to snuff this one out. And Panko wasn't going anywhere. You just think about how depleted the secondary has been. That's been a challenge for Duke, and they like to play a lot of man coverage. Harris, look at this in the open field. Now getting behind some blocking as he crosses the 40. And finally steps out of bounds. The coaches, the conference really deserves a big, big hand for it. being able to play as many games as they had. King again heading for the end zone. He dives for the pylon and a touchdown. D. Eric King will take another look, but he goes diving for the end zone. Better look. You know, he's still, he's got that right foot inbound still. In the high regard, they hold this young man in. First down and 10. On the carry, it's Harris, who's had a big night early. Just have a little bit of a feeling of some type of success offensively prior to the half. They will run again. It's Jackson, and the football is loose. It is loose on the deck. Miami says they have the football, and they do on a turnover. Security is a group effort, including the offensive line. 31 turnovers, and that's by far the most in the country. Now, there are times as a quarterback when you push the ball down the field, you do need to feel protected. Big hole this time for Durant to uh, race right through before he is finally tackled by Carter. So one of the better running plays all game. Can take advantage of. First down 10 for Duke. Looking to throw, but here they come again and take it down. It's Roche. He is just so quick to the quarterback. They're going to lose seven yards. To David Cutcliffe is... You got a drive going there. Listen, it's fine. You have a sack because you get beat up front, but to have that be a turnover because you're not secure with the ball in the pocket. See him wearing it right now after another turnover. Second down, 12. King to fire and complete. Boy, he is loving Brevin Johnson again, his tight end. He'll immediately go to Brevin Jordan talking about tight ends in this conference. Firing for the end zone and batted down. Intended for Mike Harley. I was finding ways to get the ball off. So talented and then just quickly back at it again to spit the ball outside to D. Wiggins for the score. In for the touchdown. D. Wiggins for six more. 
for the Miami Hurricanes starting to lay it on the Duke Blue Devils here in Durham tonight. Talk quite a bit about in the passing game as a receiver. Second down five for Duke. And on the carry, Deion Jackson. Now back to Manny Diaz going for his fifth consecutive victory tonight. Exactly why they're here tonight at 7-1. and one. It's, it's a great point in, you know, taking a chance on number 15, Jalen Phillips, who, you know, had been out of football. And... and Miami playing for the first time in three weeks. Harris can be a, maybe a target here. It's going to be Harley right down the center of the field. 30, 20, forget about this. Mike Harley is gone. Touchdown, Miami. 89 yards for that strike. Finding them and you know, kind of this little stack down at the bottom of your screen. It, it's a busted coverage because you have two Duke defenders, you know, running at one wide receiver. That turns Harley free, and Derek King sees it, delivers a nice ball. Harley has reset the culture in the receiver room, and that's invaluable. Well, that was his longest touchdown reception of his career and Miami's longest play of the season. And that's the way the night has been going. Is the football loose? Yeah, Miami says they have it again. Boy, the turnovers for the Duke Blue Devils have been astonishing this season. They've added to those tonight. And now we'll see who has the football. On the kickoff return, Miami says they've got it. And Miami will have the football again. Dave, isn't it funny? We, we basically go from score, you know, scheduling games years out to basically pick up games. Harris again into the end zone. So once again, Miami finding pay dirt. Another touchdown for the Hurricanes. Movement. You know, one of the things they tell offensive linemen down here is score. You know, what this 2020 season has been for so many football programs, I think it's affected Duke maybe more than it you know, would affect other programs. And, you know, and I think that you know, part of the challenge is, is that if you know, you're worried so much about the destination, you have to think it makes a difference. Nice to fire and a complete pass to Durant. Lost the handle on that one. King will step aside. So the 6'4 junior out of California is going to get a pass off very quickly here to Cheney. Cheney in the open field. Cheney will cut to his right before he is taken down after another massive game. Nikosi Perry, he kind of attacks the line of scrimmage. They pull the guard. It looks like run. You've got guys up front coming off the ball, which has really helped their run game. Low snap. They're able to stay on his feet, trying to spin away from the tackle, but can't do it. And again, a 52-yarder. As he lays into this one, and that one was true. He nailed it. Another attempt here by Borogalis, who just nailed one moments ago from 52. This is 32 yards for the kicker. And that one is up and good. Last couple of games he's gotten into, he's gone 10 for 15. He's going to keep the football and try. He's going to lose it, and Miami is going to come up with another fumble. I think the, the job the ACC has done to, to play these games and the players who wanted to play them and have sacrificed a bunch to get it to happen, kudos to them. Well, another turnover. And this one is going to be picked off by Clark, Marcus Clark. And just a lot of big moments. Cheney staying on his feet, taking to that far sideline after another turnover. And the last half minute of play is he will take a knee. So, Tim, your final thoughts tonight on De'Ara King and Miami sailing to a big win. Well, he was fantastic, not surprising. And I think some of the concerns about the rust were probably, you know, were warranted with the way we saw their first two drives start. But it didn't take long to, to knock off the rust. And I think that ends up being the key for this team. They really playing well. And I think clicking offensively.